Hello YouTube and welcome back to the channel. This is Jackass Retro. My name is Matt and today is our next installment of the postcard and ephemeral haul I picked up recently. If you want to see the previous installments, the links will be down below in the description. Um, there is a playlist as well so you can go to the beginning and just watch them all through. Today we're going to be doing the second box of postcards. Uh, let's get started. Alright, so here we go. This is everything. We've got three boxes of postcards. I'm guessing probably roughly around, you know, maybe 1500, 2000, somewhere in that neighborhood. So, not bad at all in terms of quantity wise. Uh, here we have some interesting ephemera items. And we'll start kind of digging out ephemera and, you know, there's a lot of odds and ends here. So, some of the stuff is pretty interesting. I'm just going to start grabbing some items and we'll take a look. Oh. Well, okay, here is the second box. Now, I have not really been through this one at all. Uh, I don't think I looked at it when uh, I was doing the pickup. So, this one's going to be as new to you as it is to me. So, I'm going to do exactly like I did last time. I'm just going to take a little pile from this side. Take another little pile here from the middle. Take another little pile here. And we'll do another pile here. And maybe just a pinch off the end. We'll see what we got. It's a pretty good pile. I don't know if we're gonna get through all this, but uh, let's just go ahead and get started. Let's see what we got. This one's a linen glacier lake curve in Montana. I've been doing really well with uh, Montana cards lately. We've got a date on this one. I've actually never seen that publisher or that artist, so uh, it'd be interesting to do some research on that one. Super cool Western scene. These do pretty well. Cowboy and his horse. Got a date here on the back, 1911. Excellent. Muncie, Indiana. Location of one of my favorite movies uh, is Coen Brothers, The Hudsucker Proxy. And there's an ongoing joke about a Muncie girl. And uh, he, yeah, check out that movie if you haven't. It's hilarious. South Park Swimming Pool, another Montana. Swimming Pool, Montana. This one I expect to do well. It's a, uh, I think, undivided back. Let's see here. Nope, it's a linen, linen postcard. I actually uh, have this exact card listed right now, Whidbey Loops, Lower Columbia River. I actually may have sold it already, um, but I've definitely run across this one before. These switchback um, curvy roads uh, I've done pretty well with. Spokane County Courthouse in Spokane, Washington. Done pretty well with courthouses as well. This one's another linen. I think that last pile was quite a bit of linens. Highway through the mountains. Unspecified location. Just sort of a generic nice little car on the road there having a nice mountain drive. This is probably Pacific Northwest. That looks a lot like Snoqualmie Pass. Here we've got Red Lodge, Cook City Highway. I'm not sure where the Cook City Highway is. Oh, here we go. We can find out. Yellowstone. Another switchback kind of roads. Here's another Muncie, Indiana. The new Hotel Roberts. That's a... Uh, another linen postcard. Oh, we've got the YMCA which looks surprisingly almost exactly like the hotel. Both of these are Muncie. So we got some Muncie cards, which is cool. I don't think I've actually had postcards from Muncie before. Eureka Springs, Arkansas. We got a train coming down the railroad tunnel. Interesting one. 
St. Augustine, Florida, the entrance to the Fountain of Youth, another linen postcard. So these linens aren't typically huge money in most cases, not as much as the older ones, but still they're interesting and they do sell. Garfield Park, Chicago. Here's the Orange Motel in St. Petersburg. Motels always do pretty well, no matter where they are. Here you got a swing along bridge. Bridges are another good popular subject matter. Seen this one before. I don't. I do not how to know how to pronounce that. The jacaranda tree in full bloom, Florida. I have had many cards similar or just like this. They don't do well, but that's okay. Wow, this next one looks amazing. Vulcan by Moonlight, Bloomington, Alabama. That is a beautiful, beautiful postcard. Uh, I've sold this statue before. Um, I've never seen this exact card, but it's a linen, unused. Uh, I'm gonna look that one up, but if it, even if it's not valuable, I can almost certainly guarantee it will sell. First Christian Church, Orlando, Florida. Got a looks like we hit a hit a vein of Florida here. The Orlando Lawn Bowling Club, interesting one, surrounded by flowers. Got Southern. This is a linen, Southern Pacific Station in Sacramento. It's a really nice, crisp. Uh, image for a linen postcard. You almost wouldn't think it's linen, but you can see once I hold that angle, you can see that texturing to it. Another linen here, Pine Crest Motel and Restaurant, Chattanooga, Tennessee. Some of these more interesting ones I'm, I'm setting aside because I'll probably want to list them later today. Woolworths, the largest in the world, in Houston, Texas. Uh, Texas postcards are do very, very well for me. This has got all kinds of stuff going for it. The Woolworth store, nice linen card. We got a nice Texas flag there. It's unused. The Army Barracks, Fort Sill, Arkansas, again. Military content, army barracks, all that kind of stuff does really well, especially since this is World War II era. Remember that. I don't know if this was made before or during World War II, but it's definitely of that era. So military content, you know, in a linen postcard is almost always going to have that connection. Here is uh, the, I believe it's Oaks Memorial and Lookout Mountain in Chattanooga. The Miami Beach Federal Savings and Loan Association. You always got to look up these buildings. You know, this is very cool Art Deco, like, and you never know. Like, some sometimes it's it's very rare to have a postcard of a particular building, so you got to always look them up. Here's Hoover Dam. Some of these are are a little more common, uh, but I'm you know. That doesn't mean they're not worth listing and selling on their own. Here's the actual Fountain of Youth in St. Augustine. The Seven States from Lookout Mountain. Now this one, uh, I've seen this view before, but not where the, not titled this way and not with the, uh, actual views of the states pointed out. So that's that's an interesting one. That'll be a good one to research. Nice large letter greetings from Daytona Beach, Florida. Uh, I actually have not had this large letter greetings before. I do pretty well with those. This is a 
continental size. I recognize this Torino. Italy continental size. This it could be could be hit or miss. Most likely miss. Here we've got uh, the Red Lodge, Montana, Highway 12. Lots going on here. We got a cafe, some classic cars on the streets, lots of good signage. Those those kind of cars do very well. Ford Motor Company, the Fordson plant, Detroit, Michigan. Uh, they may not be the biggest money, but they sell. You know, three, four bucks for Ford Motor Company cards, usually about right. I have sold this exact card before in worse condition. Washington Boulevard in Detroit, Night View. Night Views do quite well. Moccasin Bend from Lookout Mountain. Incline Railway, Lookout Mountain. The Incline Railway can do well. Uh, depends on the image. There's if it's a less common one, you know, five six bucks. Real photos could be more, but you know they're they're decent sellers. All right, looks like we got some Christmas cards, Christmas postcards, which always fun to look at. These ones from 1910s. This one's actually got a this glitter. It's actually mica that's affixed to the card here. Nice holiday one. The fact that it's got Dungeness, Washington. Not going to be a super common place. This one's older, undivided back. I like the antique mall. Tacoma Antique Center. Hard to find good stuff there. For a buck, that's a pretty good deal. Some, looks like white carnations. Yep, hey, look at that. I'm a botanist now. Very pretty postcard. It's funny sometimes to see how the antique dealers are selling these. Nice gilt rose. Nothing amazing. Over a hundred years. Happy New Year. The Tennyson poem. You'll see this poem show up on a lot of the Christmas and holiday New Year's postcards. Upper Tumwater Falls, Olympia, Washington. Nice local card here. Remember, these came from a, uh, a collector here in Washington. So that we're going to see, you know, and, and we have quite a few Washington postcards. Sincere regards. Pretty generic, but nice glossy for an old postcard that's pretty, pretty glossy. 1910. I like the painter's palette on it. Got a comic postcard here. Don't fence me in. There's a meat shortage. Got an art. Oh, this is William William Standing. He was a Native American artist. There's a lot of postcards from him. Um, I, I usually will lot up his postcards, um, but they are collected. Uh, you know, two, three, four bucks a piece usually on the top end. Uh, there is a couple that are less common that can go for more, uh, but this is this is actually uh, you know what somewhat relevant to today. Here's another one by William Standing. Oh nope, correction that is uh, Gene McConnell. These are a series or one of a series, the before and after. And another comic by Bob Hall, dated 1950. Another nice comic artist, little risque one. Sort of doing that uh, Marilyn Monroe thing. Another comic signed here. Oh, it's Dude Larson. 
He's another, he, that's another very um, common one. Dude Larson is. Got a good number of uh, Dude Larson cards. They're well collected. This one's a little risque, like you got the, yeah. Nice. Another Christmas postcard. I've just been listing all of mine. If if they're, I look them look around for them, and they're nothing special. This one, you know, could definitely be reused again. Like that's pencil mark. It's already been partially erased. It's a nice, nice, nice card, and it's never been sent in the mail. So you know, those those sell pretty well, especially unposted. Waterton Glacier in Canada. Here's another comic card. You got a signature down here, Taylor. Bamforth and Company is a British publisher. So that's a nice one. Another Linen Motel postcard. Savannah, Georgia. Morgan City, Iowa. Another multi view. Got the interior of the dining room there. Some cars in the parking lot. One of the bungalows, or maybe the office. Winston Salem, the uh, Moravian graveyard. I, I think I've said it on previous w videos. The Moravian church or Moravian church. Most things I've had that have content related to that have done well. Baton Rouge, the Oak Manor Hotel Court. Pre-show Cafe, Pre-show South Dakota. Okay, had to re uh, clear up a little recording space on my phone, so let's keep going here. We've got the Hotel Graver, Fargo, North Dakota, another hotel linen postcard. Magic Aquarium Bar and Liquor, Moorhead. Look at that place. That that's just that is just a cool image. Total throwbacky, like soda fountain. Awesome. Deadwood Train, Central Chicago Railroad Fair. Very cool. Manatee Beeline Ferry. Excellent. Another linen. Let's uh let's we're gonna skip a few and see if we can get away from some of these linens, get a little more variety in here. Illinois State Fair, that one's neat. Really like that. Pippin Okay, Alabama. That's C.A. Pippin. That'll be a fun one to look up who that guy is. This is a little more modern. I think this is Graycraft. No, but it's similar. It's uh, This is the Hotel Queen Anne. And come on, focus. North Carolina. Uh, I've actually had quite a few for the Hotel Queen Anne. I don't recall ever selling one. <laughs> That's a cool children's tea room, seventh floor, Woodward and Lathrop. 1951, nice advertising postcard. Cave of the Winds, 
Manitou, Colorado. Oyster, the old Oyster House in Boston. It's a nice one. Unposted. The old State House, Boston. Pretty common, common card there. Jerusalem from oh, Scopus. Nice international card. Got a Kolb's New Orleans main dining room. I think I I have this card or one similar. Oh, we got some good comics here. This is a uh, Bob Petley. Love me some poop jokes. Love the poop jokes. And you know what? They sell. Fanny Brown. Fanny Brown, she's the uh, best disco dancer in all the town. I uh, opened a, a live show with that song uh, just earlier this week. Artist signed, Bortz. Honestly, never seen this card, never heard of that artist, but this kind of content does great. We've got a, oh, this one's cool. Advertising postcard for New York Times Square. Got the old school bus. It's been mounted, probably doesn't matter. It says 1973, that's when it was posted. This is definitely earlier than 1973. Grass Hut. Luckily we got the location here. The Willows in Honolulu. Anything Hawaii is going to do well. 1950. It's the right era. Like you really like 50s, 60s Hawaii. Here's a. I've got many of this exact card. Creepy novelty romance card from the 1910s. Yeah. Interesting art postcard. I'm going to do a few more. We got oil fields in Oklahoma City. We got Pikes Peak, Colorado, and we got Figueroa Street in Los Angeles, California. Nice sepia card. Really nice. I like that. Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin, the high school. And we'll do this one as our last one. It looks very cool. 1930 religious, or sorry, 1950, probably Vatican. It's yeah, Vatican because it's all in Italian. Probably the uh, the new pope, that guy. That's a neat card. All right, one more, Tijuana. Okay, everybody, thank you very much for watching. That's going to be this installment with this box of postcards. But stay tuned. Tomorrow we'll be doing the rest of the ephemera. And uh, the day after, I'll probably throw in another one with the final box of postcards as well. So if this is your first time here and you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing or hit the like button and leave a comment below. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one.